Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the tutorials on natural language processing. So in the last lectures, we saw like what NLP is, what are the use cases of NLP and how we can work with NLP. We also saw about tokenization and how to implement tokenization by doing a hands-on coding exercise. So we'll now move forward to our second agenda, which is all about stemming. So without wasting much of our time on this, let's get started. So I will go up and find my Jupyter notebook over here. And uh, as you know, I will first import the required library, which is an LTK, right? Import an LTK. Okay. So once this is done, we now come on to the definition of stemming. So what do you mean by stemming? So stemming is nothing but basically finding out the root word. So let's suppose you have been given a word waiting. Do you know what would be the root word of waiting? Yes, the root word of waiting would be wait and ings generate the suffix, right? So the root word or the stem word is wait. Similarly, if you have been given a word which is eating, so what would be the like the stem word or the root word of eating? Again, it would be eat. Similarly, there are other kinds of words like weighted. Also, the stem word of weighted would be wait again. So what happens is that stemming is basically, basically converting the word into its root word. Converting a word into its root word that is known as stemming. Yes, we had also written stemming slash lemmatization uh, in layman terms. They both are similar. However, there exists a very fine line of difference between the two. But we are not concerned with this at this point in time because we will be having a look at stemming and not at lemmatization. If need arises in the future, we would then consider like if we really if we if we really require to work with lemmatization or not. Okay, so I have I hope you understood like what uh, stemming is stemming is basically converting a word to its root word. So the stemming of eat would be eat again because eat is the root word itself, right? Uh, so this is what is actually known as stemming. Now coming to the use cases of stemming. So it's generally used in search engines like uh, let's say you give an example or you search for uh, phishing images on Google images, right? So when you search for phishing images, you would also get an image for fish. You would also get an image for phishing. So they're basically finding out the root word and also showing you the results as well. So this is one of the practical use cases. There are plenty as well. We are not concerned with the use cases as of now because we're only learning how to implement them at this point in time. So let's get started uh, by implementing them. So for stemming, you have to use like you have to import the stemmer and we'll be using Potter stemmer over here. There are basically other types of stemming available as well, but we would be working with Potter stem. So from NLTK dot stem import Potter stemmer. Once this is done, I will now create the like object for Potter stemmer class. So Potter stemmer and something like this. And now I could actually like stem the word. Like let let us uh, have the stem word for let's say ps dot stem. Let's say eating, right? So you would basically get the stem word as eat, you know. Uh, then let us have the stem word for working. So you would basically get the stem word as work, something of that sort. So we know how to actually like stem a word, but how to stem a sentence? Like let's suppose I have been given a text, and in the text we have been given like. Let's suppose our text is, so let's suppose we have this text over here, like 2022 World Cup is going to be held in India. A total of 22 teams will be participating in the tournament. So we have this sentence and now we want to get the stemmed sentence back. So for this, like we know the output will be this going would be converted to go, right? And this participating would actually get converted to participate. But how do you stem this? Can you directly like use ps.stem and pass in the text to get the answer? Let us see. So ps dot stem and let us just pass text over here. And this is the output that you are getting. Okay, let me just like run this text first here. Uh, so 2022 World Cup is going to be held in India. A total of 22 teams will be participating in the Tumna. Does not like it's actually wrong, right? It's it is not what we expected. So when there is a sentence or when there is a text, not a single word, you could not use this. So how could we actually stem a particular sentence? If you are thinking that we have to use tokenization, then you are absolutely correct. 
So what we have to do is that we have to first tokenize these words, and then once we have to, uh, like once we have got the list of the words, we need to iterate over them, and after iterating, uh, like we need to join them, we need to stem them, and then join them. So let us get started on this. So from NLTK dot token tokenize import. I would be importing word tokenization. I could have imported sentence tokenization as well, but then from sentence tokenization, I would have to like again use word tokenization. So directly I'm using word tokenization. Import word tokenize. And then what I would be doing is result is equals to word underscore tokenize. I would be passing in the text over here. And then I would have got a like a list of all of the like particular words in the in this variable or in this list. So you see like we have all all of these present over here, right? And now what I'll be doing is for I in result, I would be iterating to each and every word and I would be like stemming them, but I need to store the result as well. So let us declare a list which is known as spinal and uh, over here, like just run this and now iterating over the elements for I in result ps dot stem I and here I could actually append final dot append ps dot stem and we also need to append a uh, extra space over here and then we are good to go so i would just like run this piece of code over here and once this is done i would show you like how our final list actually looks like so you see like 2022 world cup going has been converted to go and uh, participate has converted into a new word which is particip particip and yeah I, I mean it's not grammatically correct maybe like i would have written the like uh, spelling wrong over here i mean uh, it actually happens like uh, it actually happens like like while you're stemming the sentence it, it happens that uh, uh, i mean uh, this kind of anomaly actually happens so it ha it is not uh, catching participating rightly over here so maybe we could just change to playing over here so that we get a better example and you get a better result so we'll just change it to playing and rerun all of them over here again so something like this this and uh, this 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 and this so you see now playing has converted into play right uh, similarly going has converted into go and all of that kind of sort now we need to join the sentence to get the final sentence so what i would be writing i would be writing dot join and final so this is the final sentence that we do have 2022 world cup is go to be held in india a total of 22 teams will be playing in the tournament yes again grammatically not correct uh, i hope you already get the point why it's not grammatically correct it's the reason because we're actually stemming the words or we are basically finding out the root words so it's very obvious that it won't be grammatically correct but very helpful in certain kinds of situation we would discuss the use cases later on but i hope you now understand like what stemming is and how do we exactly work with it so i will end this lecture over here see you in the next one thank you